I'm wearing my hood because I want to be grooting and gruesome and, and yeah, evil, darkness, Wayne Tower is over here. So I don't actually know how to get over to where Clayface and where um, Firefly is. So I'm assuming R Wayne Tower might have something to do with it. My name is Brian Saviato Bricks. So Brian, thank you for joining me for more Batman. This is the monorail. Y'all know how much I love monorails, right? Actually, I don't. I have no affinity one way or, or another for them. So I'm pretty sure that there's a bridge that is not able to be accessed. I'm going to do that to get rid of that. Um, there's a bridge that cannot be accessed over there. So I'm just going to fly over this way. Unless there is actually the bridge is right there. I just lied to you. Bald face lied to you in this episode of the Batman DLC in Minecraft. Hopefully you're enjoying this. I am for sure. And I know that there's plenty more to explore. I realized with the penguin when we were over in that area that the, the boss battle was very lackluster. And that is because there were a lot of uh, smaller mini bosses on the way to go in toward Penguin. So that kind of balanced it out. So it was like, oh, you know, Penguin is a little lackluster, but you had all these other mini bosses to kind of compensate for that. So that's the idea behind what Penguin was up to. Now, Clayface and Firefly are two enemies that I'm not 100% familiar with. I am going to assume, uh, well, this isn't a, a, obviously not constructed building here. Um, but I'm assuming this is a way for me to get to where I need to go, right? So the map over here, that is a just a building. Can I get over here? You see that gold right there? Can I just do this? Oh my goodness, look at that. Go. Go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So, I just totally lost every single bit of progress here. Great. So the point... Right there, see? Yeah, so it's things like this, right? I feel like this is kind of breaking the experience here. But, like, you know, I guess it's fine. No enemies here? I guess not. Enemies are like, you know what? We don't need to be in an unfinished building. We just need to be in the finished buildings, okay? We don't want to deal with this uh, subpar infrastructure. Um, get out of here. So, you know what? It might not even be worthwhile to do, considering I don't have all the power-ups yet, like I said last time. Clayface. Oh, I get it because he's building and, and walls. Yep, I, I understand now. Hey, there's Clayface and there's Firefly. Hey, man, meow, meow. What's going on, man? How we feeling, man? It's, 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 it's the Batman. Oh, it's the Batman. I'm upset by the Batman. And then he's going to go over here. It's going to be a whole thing. Bye. And then he goes through his sewer grate over there. Firefly flew away. So Firefly was actually supposed to be one of the enemies in the now defunct and unreleased Batgirl movie. And that would have been uh, really cool. Oh, it's all like piglins and stuff. That's kind of sweet. So this is obviously going to be a... Oh, can I just rush through? I kind of can just rush through. Ooh, whoa. Phantoms here. That's kind of a snazzy enemy to reskin for these purposes here. Okay. I like this already. We got some lava flowing all the way down. Cool. All right. So clearly for the girders and stuff, you have to uh, hit those at a certain spot. So that's cool. Uh, with these, they're going to have uh, a team-up situation here. I thought I was going to be fancy right there, but it turns out I'm not. But I can cheese this. I know I can cheese this. Hold on. There's a way. There's a will. There's a way. It looks like it's iron for all the girders and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Right here. You see that? Bam. I'm going to slip and slide right into these DMs over here. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Is that? Oh, no. That's not Firefly. That's a mini, probably mini Fireflies here. Stay alive? Yes. Staying alive as I do. As we do over here. Yes, indeed. Ooh, the blaze is going to be a notable enemy of this area here. Yeah, that's going to stink. That's going to be real bad. All right. Well, can I actually unfreeze myself? That actually kind of cool. No. Freezing myself just hurts me. Go figure. So maybe if this game were super pro gamer, then all of the ice things here would be super effective against all these piglins. Now, I don't know if that's the case. We're going to we're gonna do some product testing over here, and we're going to see what happens, all right? Um, this looks like... Oh, wow. Yup. Okay, so it actually does matter. That is super cool. So, but what happens if you don't have Mr. Freeze defeated first? Are you just kind of out of luck a bit more so? Probably. I mean... This kind of breaks the whole thing, right? Which, I guess it's kind of the point, right? Kind of the point there, right? You have this that can just 
launch down over here. It's obviously temporary. It's not a forever thing. And I actually like how they convey it, too. Um, you should not be- you should not be firing at me while you're frozen. That should be a one-hit destruction there. But regardless, this is very cool. I like this. So it actually rewards you for defeating enemies in a certain order. Super, super intuitive and cool. So that's what- that's what kind of surprises me, is like, some as oh, yep, you're gonna do the little itty-bitties there, too. Um, some aspects seem to be kind of oversighted, but other aspects have way more detail than they ought to, so it's just surprising in general, you know? Um, these things are going to be absolutely problematic here. Yep. Get rid of these clearly uh, magma cubes over toward this way. So, yeah, they were supposed to release a Batgirl movie, and they didn't- they ended up canceling it. And by canceling it, I mean they literally made the entire movie, like, 100%. It was done. And then, because of the way that movie studios work, and the way that business people do their things, they would rather cancel the entire movie and have it as a tax write-off, rather than to release it in theaters, which is- Oh, this is super cool, too. Um, but that's super disappointing. So, we're never going to see the Batgirl movie as it should have been, and Brendan Fraser was supposed to be, uh, Firefly, one of the villains of the movie, which would have been really cool. Brendan Fraser is an actor who, he went through like a lot of tough stuff and hasn't been in the Hollywood spotlight for a long time. So, um, it was supposed to be a role that he kind of hopped back into the limelight with, but unfortunately it's not going to be the case, at least for, for Batgirl. But can you believe that? They would, re they would produce an entire movie and then the movie studio is just like, you know what, we don't want to do this. Like, regardless of how good or bad the film is, you figure they would just put it out there, right? And try to make at least a little bit of the money back, but I guess, uh, I guess not. They're just, uh, they're just not having any of it, you know? They'd rather just see the whole thing scrapped and call it a day. So maybe TNT is what makes it explode? Uh, that's probably gonna be Firefly's ability, is like, uh, exploding TNT for, uh, us to use across the, um, you know, across multiple worlds after this point here, which is super cool. Yeah, there we go. That is awesome. It's so cool. Now, the TNT is gonna explode right here. Yeah, that's what we do. Look at that. But what would you do? Oh, you just have to jump on those blocks, I guess. That's kind of what you would have to do. Like, it, that's not really that big of a mystery, really, at all. Anyways, cool. So yeah, they, they just didn't decide to release it. It's- Oh, mamma mia, that's exploding. Um... It's disappointing, because you get to see somebody- you- you don't actually get to see somebody who focused many years of their life on this piece of art, this, uh, comic book movie that's just not ever gonna- ever- it's just never gonna happen. And they legally cannot release it because of the way all these laws and stuff work, right? So sometimes- actually, I'll explain to you this exact situation. So, to draw a comparison here, um, when I- got the water bottles for my- my pre-order campaign for my book. Um, I, my- one of the things I wanted to do was to, um, get water bottles. And that was gonna be one of the benefits for getting the book early, was you got to get a water bottle. And so, I got them, and they were defective. In that if you drop them, um, they end up shattering. The water bottles just shatter. Um, and when I reported that to the company that made them, they were like, Oh, well, um, there's nothing in our listing that says they're shatterproof, so you're out of luck. Have fun. Um, so they basically told me to kick rocks and that they weren't going to help me refund me or, or anything like that because their product was defective and they didn't want to hold accountability for it. So, it is not something that I can sell. So, I can't ever release it and instead, because I'm- I'm not releasing it, and it is a complete and total loss, I can take all of the, um... Basically take every single bit of the... the money that was used for those things, and then use it toward something else. Whatever it might be. But when, that's with the intention that I cannot release it as an actual product for people. Now, if I ended up coming out with the water bottles, or still, like, selling them to people, then yeah, I can't have it as a... I can't have it as a loss, right? So, when things go wrong like that, that's kind of the reason why things like that exist. It's like, oh, so here we go. Uh, there's these two right here. So that's kind of the, the only similarity I can draw, I guess, to, uh, 
these two things here is um, the water bottles, which is definitely a massive issue, and it stinks. And this is, oh, this is really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Whoa. I didn't realize lava was right there, dude. Okay. Sure. So now it's going to be a double battle between the two, which is spicy. All right. So, and a little bit of armor over here. But because I have this launcher, I feel like this is going to be an exceptionally good... Um, ooh, that's a spicy attack there. You're sending out clay versions of hogs and everything else? Wow. Okay. Chickens and cows and whatever. That's super spicy. Okay. And you're going to roll? You're on a roll over here, man. All right. Sure. Uh, does this do that much more damage to you? It probably does. Low key. Um, can I defeat you this way? It's not as effective, but I can. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, you're not actually hitting me in any capacity that's meaningful. Oh, just kidding. You are. Now you are. Um, okay. I see it's doing damage there. Okay, so Clayface is recovering. Which means I have to go after Firefly now. It's probably a one-two uh, situation here. Like, defeat both of them at one time sort of deal. Yeah, that's definitely what it's meant to be. Um, these piggies and whatnot. All these things here, man. Get these clay things out of here, all right? Oh, you're already on phase two. Oh, okay. So that's also very spicy. All right. I'm going to do this. Kind of cool myself down here, hopefully. Yeah, I can. How about you, Clayface? Does that destroy you at all? How does that do nothing? Seriously? Okay. That should be doing something, dude. Come on. Um, how can I do this? Do that? Yeah, there we go. Oh! Blown up by a TNT cart, but I did end up getting to Firefly at least at one time right there, so that's cool. Okay. So I actually just cheesed this super bad right here. What if I let this happen? And yeah, Firefly is going to end up coming over toward here, most likely, right? So I can intercept him right over toward this way, just like this, right? Bam. Bam. Go. Yeah, there it is. All right. And so, yeah, Firefly definitely going to be the first one out. So we could have had Brendan Fraser in the thing, man. That would have been cool. But, you know, whatever. Oh, Firefly is just setting fires. That's not problematic at all. What if I just stay right here? Is that, like, not a pro gamer move? Like, I don't want to cheese it. Oh, jeez. You're just everywhere all at once. Okay. I'm doing so much more damage to Firefly real quick. I feel like he's the one that should be damaged first. Or destroyed first, I should say. Right here? Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, if I crouch down here, that's going to put me into this mode. But more importantly, um, it's going to be better off for me since I cannot move, which is good, I guess. Hold on. No, I don't, I don't want this thing on me here. I definitely don't want that. Ooh, you're just setting more fires here. All right, so Firefly's in his final phase here. So, girders do not respond, correct? Yeah, they definitely do not respond. So let me try something spicy over here. You're definitely doing this, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So maybe just using the batarangs is going to be smarter because that can launch and it's not using up as... Oh my goodness, there's so many of these things, dude. There's so many little itty bitties. It's not even funny. Okay, I need to move. I need to move over here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so there is some benefit to going in a certain order with all these, uh, all these foes here, right? There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. And crackers, dude. Whoa. Okay. That's not something I realized was a thing. No. Get back, Warthog. No. There we go. Save myself? No. Come on. Seriously? I gotta restart the whole thing? Probably, right? That's disappointing. Right? Oh, no. Firefly's on his final phase. Okay. Well, give me a second. Well, I kind of glitched out Clayface. No, just kidding. No, I didn't. Okay, no, I definitely did not glitch out Clayface. Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, Clay puppies. Sorry, Clay chickens. Sorry, Clay oink. Nope. Yep, it has to happen. Sorry, man. This has to, has to be this way. Okay. Firefly, you are located over here. Go. 
Yes. There it is. All right. Maybe just going after you first is going to be the key. Man, this thing stinks. Y'all stink. Go. Go. Really? Seriously? I'm going to die again? Mamma mia. Okay. Firefly is out. Done. Get him out. Gonzo. Okay. These things are a massive problem. Seriously? Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. Fly away. Get me away from here, dude. Look at all these enemies here. Oh, man. Okay, and you you get health really slow. Like, super, super, super slow. It's not even, like, worthwhile to factor in when you're facing off against Clayface or otherwise, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Defeat all these little itty-bitties over here. Yeah. I need the health big time. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, Clayface's main thing is going to be going up on the ground here, right? Ground attacks are going to be his main way of doing his thing. But for me, it's going to be up high, all right? So I should be up high instead of down toward here because all he can do is launch up these um, these little bits, these little bits of clay. That's about it. That's about all he can do in terms of, like, super powerful um, attacks from up top. So I'm going to try to optimize here and just really get... I got to get up close. I got to get up close and just try to cheese him out this way. Yeah, just like Rocky Balboa, man, little by little. Okay, he's recovering. Well, I defeat all these little itty bitties here. Does this, this definitely puts us out here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So Clayface is no match whatsoever. I got him. All I have to do, I, I really like that I did this, by the way. I managed to get over here. Um, Wait, can I not? Okay, I was going to say, I should be able to go over here and make this happen. Um, oh, that's a nice uh, evasive maneuver there. Unfortunately, wait, can I do this? Is this a thing? Oh my goodness, it is a thing. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of snazzy. So what if I just stay up here? What if I stay right here, right? I don't want to have to use this, though. I don't, I don't... It's interesting, I guess, to have that, but I'm not, uh, not as big of a fan of it. Not in the battle situations like this. I definitely don't want to activate Riddler mode this way. How about instead I just do this? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta just get up close. Gotta get up close and personal. Like Rocky Balboa. You gotta run up the stairs of Philadelphia. It's a bucket list thing you gotta do. You gotta run up those stairs even if you're totally winded. Don't worry about it. Just bat pretend like you're battling Clayface in Minecraft with the gauntlets, all right? That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, Clayface is down. His little puppies are down. Clay puppies are gone. And that's little Bobby Clayface there. Captured. The industrial district hideout is unlocked. And now we can get on out of here with the power of Clayface and uh, uh, what's his face? Totally annihilated. Oh, yes. That's what it is. Um, uh, Firefly. Yeah. TNT cart. That's kind of cool. The BNT cart. BNT. Fireflies explo explosive stuffed in a small cart. Once placed, a cart will roll into a straight line until something pops up. That's kind of cool, actually. All right. I don't know what the Scorched Obsidian does, but whatever. So if I do this, that's kind of cool. So now I can use these in a variety of places. Anytime, essentially, I've seen a busted up wall, that's probably where you end up using it for. Uh, let me see where this Riddler one goes, because I'm curious with this. It actually is the same way in the, the Batman Arkham games, where you see the Riddler thing... And you, you essentially have to maneuver all through it to um, find out the secrets the Riddler has in store. And I haven't really found many of them. Uh, I found one of them in uh, the puzzle piece form, but I'm not sure if there's any more to look at here. Uh, yep, down over here. So it's essentially going toward this way, most likely. Yeah, definitely toward this way. Now, if I end up being close, it definitely does do damage to me. Okay, that is noted. How about, uh, interesting. Ooh, over here. Yeah, that's definitely it. So I like that it's these little maneuvers all throughout here, right? And I don't need to activate that sprinkler when I got this, which is great. Do this. Give me that BNT. And there's a the puzzle piece. Okay, so that is the only Riddler thing is puzzle pieces located all throughout here. And then you can exit right through this way. Look at that. Easy squeezy, man. 
All right, so there's one section done. Um, I guess I could go explore at least one of these buildings for a little bit and then get into uh, the Harley Quinn and uh, the Poison Ivy area. There's got to be something up here, right? I don't, I don't want to feel like starting up a whole new section and there's a boss battles and I think it's all, you know, it just ends up being a lot of stuff. Um, okay, sure. I just want to know what's worthwhile to, to showcase or at least to look at around here, you know? Um, it would be really cool if in one of these buildings, like the Spider-Man game, there were waves of enemies. That'd be kind of a nice thing to do, even though you don't get any EXP or anything from it. I think just having something kind of repetitive like that might be a bit more, um, I don't know, engaging in a cool way, I guess. Boxes should also not hurt me. Pro gamer tip. That should not be the case, but whatever. Um, I like being able to explore. Wait. Oh my goodness. That is so overpowered. Nice. That, oh, it's got a recharge on it, though. That's the downfall there. Okay. So it looks like these two things are going to be the main things I'm going to use going forward here for a wombo combo situation. Um, and uh, it also doesn't seem like there's anything on the outside of any of these buildings, too. It's just like finding this stuff here, which is fine, right? You find this stuff and, and go about it that way. I want to find one more crate and then... You know what might be worthwhile to do is go back to the Batcave briefly just to see if there's anything I can unlock using all these different materials because that's why they're here is that you, you go explore and then you end up finding all these materials to unlock things in the Batcave. I don't know what those things are. Maybe just a couple of uh, extra goodies and whatnot. But hey, those are at least worthwhile to, to take a look at here. Here's my crate. There we go. So I guess that's worthwhile. I, I love the texture pack, by the way. This is also an aspect that I, I haven't really talked about all that much. I love this texture pack. It's just Batman cartoony enough, but it's not uh, dark and dreary, which Batman unfortunately has a habit of going very dark and dreary very quickly, which, you know, I get, but also, you know, you got to make it like a little bit more fun occasionally. You know what I mean? So, all right. Looks like a good time to get back to the Batcave. We'll do this. I also like that aspect where instead of making you stand still, it prompts you with a menu and then takes you to the Batcave. Or it, it confirms that you want to go to the Batcave instead of just magically uh, whisking you away. So, cool. All right. This is stuff. But how do I um, get those things? Oh, that's like ace metal. Okay. So, let me see if I can find something I can build or at least get close to building. Maybe it's over here. I don't think I even actually went over toward this way. Uh, what is this? What is this? This is a teleporter. Oh, it's a teleporter. Right, right, right. To the um, the nether where the, the Joker definitely is not located at all. Definitely not. Okay, so like to build the tasty cake over here, that's what all these resources do is they end up making new items that you can use in the game in addition to the ones that you get from defeating the enemies, which is cool. Now, what about these bat suits, man? I haven't seen these bat suits. I haven't found a single one of them, which is kind of surprising. Does it tell me where they are? No? Really? Okay. I guess, uh, I guess not. Probably could play as other characters, too, but why be anybody else when you could be Batman? You know what I mean? Is there anything I could potentially build here? I mean, I got a good amount of stuff. Flawless glass. I got blasted bricks, frosted obsidian, like, you know? You have been given your collected puzzle pieces. Check your inventory. Okay. So it unlocks something. Eventually. So I am missing so many puzzle pieces. There are so many Riddler pieces. Wow. Okay. Oh, I have to like legit solve this thing. Oh, that's spicy. Okay. I'm assuming like that. It's making a map of the section. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, that's fine. Cool. All right. Uh, can I do anything with these things? How about this down here? What's this? What's this? Uh, resources. Ace metal. I need a lot of ace metal, it seems like. Can I just do this low key into here? No. No, that's not what you got to do to unlock that area. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, there's a crate over here. Cool. It's just a random little uh, 
little area over here. Is this a bat toilet? This is where Batman goes to the potty. That's a toilet. Okay. I mean, yeah, everybody's got to go. You know, even Batman poops. Oh, there's something over here. What's this? What's this? Is this the uh, ultra durable wood? Okay. So I would love it if those respawned occasionally and you could somehow get more of them over time without needing to explore all the time. That'd be awesome. You know why? Because then you don't have to go exploring nearly as much as you ought to, which I'm down to explore. But sometimes you just want to get the thing done. You know what I mean? So, so all these require the ace metal, which means that you just got to explore more. This is what I mean. It's not worth going to do any of this stuff until you've done everything. So yeah, don't bother doing any of these tools or whatnot. And what actually might be the case is you end up getting all these tools and then re-challenging the enemies that might be a little bit harder. So that's also probably part of what they want you to do. So that's cool. Uh, next episode, I'm going to go after Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Hopefully unlock a couple of these bat suits and take it from there. I'll see you again next time. All right. Bye.